You guys want Sacramento, California today, 4th of July weekend. I'm giving you Sacramento by boat. Are you ready? Let's get going. Now I know this channel is about Sacramento real estate, but I just had to showcase a little bit of what life is like in Sacramento and the things that you can do for recreation. Boating is absolutely huge. There's actually some houseboats you can buy as well that are awesome with hot tubs and everything. They'll cost you close to about a half a million dollars, but they're dialed in. And honestly, I ran into a bunch of people that actually have these nice big 45 foot boats that actually sleep on them. So this is an option for someone who maybe loves a river idea, wants to go sailing a little bit. This is kind of it, man. So I know this isn't your typical real estate video, but this is gonna give you a little snapshot as to ideas, activities, these things you can do in the Sacramento region that you might not have thought possible. This is pretty cool. Okay guys, today we're hanging with Russell. He is awesome. Not only is he a yachtsman, but he's also the CEO of one of the hottest startups in all Sacramento, Visible. Russell, what's up my friend? What's up man, how you doing bud? Oh man. I'm welcome, super, welcome. Super excited. <laughs> this is just awesome. Fourth of July weekend, could you ask for anything it's else? It's not bad, right? If you live in Sacramento, the one thing that we have, the one perk is we've got Delta life here. We've got a great river life and and uh, this is the best amenity of, in Sacramento, in my opinion. I like to say, if you don't have a river life, WTF. I know, What man. are you doing? Well, that's what we're here for. <laughs> weekend like this is just like when everyone turns out too. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's gonna be pretty active over this weekend. This it's really active. Deep. Fourth of July weekend, big deal. Fireworks down at the the River, uh, the River Cat Stadium. I always talk about boating when I mention Sacramento and the metro area. Today we're at the Sacramento Yacht Club in West Sacramento. This is river life, guys. This is 4th of July weekend in Sacramento, California, and one of the hot spots and where everyone's going to for 4th of July so they can anchor down, watch some fireworks, hang out. This stuff is pretty, pretty cool. And right now I'm gonna walk the line, walk the boat line with Russell and show you a little bit of the Sacramento Yacht Club and what it's all about for 4th of July weekend. It's So this is her, Mark. Oh this, yeah. This is Luck and Love. Yeah, she's a 34 foot rinker, um, express cruiser. And uh, she gets up on plane, she'll do about 35 knots. Oof. So she'll fly. So this is Sac Yacht, not Sacramento Yacht Club, man. This is yacht life, man. This is how we do it, you know? This come down so here. Nice. We'll come down here on a Friday, right? Um, party. Hey, uh, do you want to go home around or you want to stay on the boat? Well, let's just stay on the boat. So we'll crash in the boat, we'll grill up some whatever we got in the fridge, maybe some asparagus, maybe a couple steaks, sometimes lobster. There we go. I kid you not. And then we'll wake up at like, you know, seven, eight o'clock in the morning, and there'll be chairs on this dock. There'll be 20 to 30 shipmates, and we're having breakfast right here, drinking red beers. There's uh, currently there's 150 shipmates here, so 150 boats here, and that's not including all the dinghies and the jet skis and whatnot, that's just the boats. And the boats can range anywhere from, you know, 21 feet uh, to 48 to 52 feet. So they're kind of like floating homes. Well, have a look. It's yeah, it's pretty, pretty incredible, man. Some of these boats are absolutely amazing. That's my boy Danny's right boat there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When I say we party here, we party. It's not a party until someone's falling in the water. Oh yeah, one of that, those are called mud hens. So if you fall in the water because you've been drinking, you're, you get a mud hen award, right? You get a trophy. It's called mud hen trophy. <laughs> Yeah, and it happens all the time. <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> Okay, so a little bit about Russell. He was a D1 swimmer. He loves river life. I mean, this guy is, if there's a poster boy for river life in Sacramento, he would be it. Um, he has a gorgeous boat. 
and he's he just loves the whole vibe out there. I mean, he walks down and he's talking to every single person down at the yacht club, um, and it's like a brotherhood over there and a sisterhood. It's really really amazing. And who better to show me it than Russell, a person who pretty much knows every single person at the yacht club? Russell is awesome. Over a short period of time, you get to know a lot of people, which is really cool. Is and it one of those things too, when you hear of a boat pulling in or a new one, you're like, oh my God, we gotta take a look. Oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> it's like, oh, for man. sure. Like this boat here, man, this is a 1965 Chris Craft. I mean, this is what JFK, you know, would have cruised in Martha's Vineyard on, dude. I mean, it's all original. It's absolutely gorgeous, man. And what's crazy about this, this is a, you know, uh, you, I mean, if you were going to go buy this on the market, you're going to pay between forty-five to 65000 for it. The dude that owns this boat, it was given to him from a shipmate that was here since like the 60s. And oh, they got wow. old and they, they couldn't make it down here and they gave it to him. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah. You got it for free. People get to know each other and people do favors and whatnot and help people out. So this is a party barge right here. Uh, we just actually had a major event, my birthday. There we go. My 57 on this barge had about 100 people here. Christina, I don't know how she did it, how she got a hold of all the people, but it was a freaking raging party, man. It was nuts. Absolutely how does, this, nuts. how does this work? Like, do you rent it or do you, what's, oh, what's the deal? Oh, you just, uh, like, well, nice members, members, you don't have to rent it. You can, it's, it's, it's anytime you want to use it, you can use it. But, but if you wanted to rent this and party on this, you can, absolutely. Watch your step. Sure foot, guys, sure foot. Good job, Mark. So we'll have like margarita machines up here and whatnot, making drinks, there's hella food, there's freaking um, barbecue, barbecuing over here, tables and chairs, and people are just having a blast, man. It's freaking cool. View's pretty spectacular. You got a boat coming in right now. So whether you have a dinghy, whether you have a jet ski, whether you have a yacht, this is the spot. The Sacramento Yacht Club is pretty cool. The brotherhood, sisterhood over there, the $4 drinks, grilling, Bloody Marys at nine o'clock in the morning and just having a great time. I mean, it was really an eye opener to myself because I'd never really explored this part of Sacramento. So if someone out there saying to themselves, you know, I want to move to Sacramento, I just sold my $2 million house. I'm looking at a million dollar house and I'm thinking about where to invest my money. I'll tell you something. There is nothing like river life and the camaraderie that comes with it. Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. This is the Sacramento Yacht Club. This is 4th of July in Sacramento. I know it's not my traditional real estate video, but I kind of wanted to show you a little part of Sacramento that most people never even experience. This is pretty cool. This is River Life in Sacramento. If you like this video, as always, like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. And if you're a member of the Yacht Club or see this video and you thought it was pretty cool, comment down below. We'd love to know your opinions on it. And other than that, guys, I'll see you next time.